I'm just walking into the Green Havoc exhibition at the Rye Art Gallery in the Stormont Studios. And it's very quiet here today, um, quite cold, <laughs> um, because we've been locked in lockdown now for over a week. Um, the picture that you can see here is called Dark Distance. It's one of the gems by Ivan Hitchens, uh, which was painted in 1959, which we're so lucky to have here at Rye Art Gallery. It's a beautiful place. Well, this is a piece from Green Havoc. It's by um, John Piper, and it was produced in 1984, and it's a watercolour. And it's of a place called Clydney, but it fits very much in with the spring theme that we posed for this show. I just thought I'd show you one of the pictures that was selected. A painting by Diana Lowe, which she produced in 1972 for the Royal Academy exhibition. It's called A Road Near the Sea and it's oil on board in a rather splendid Moving round the exhibition, this piece is called Fairlight. It's an artwork by Kenneth Townsend, who was again a member of the RSA. And um, both Sarah and Denise selected this work to be in with their own works for Green Havoc. And we're moving round. Part of the design process before making her ceramics, Sarah produced these collages, and this one has been produced using collage, ink, and paint. Another Fairlight window by Denise Franklin. I hope you can see these lovely pieces of ceramic with a beautiful kind of dynamic mark making on them uh, produced by Sarah Palmer. Well, this is the final um, clay dish, which takes its name from the show. So it's called Green Havoc. Uh, spring is coming now. Um, these beautiful plates by Sarah Palmer are actually produced for the exhibition, but they're also um, available for sale um, if you'd like to contact us at Rye Art Gallery. From Rye Art Gallery, Almond Blossom by Fiona Benson. This morning, love, I'm tired and grave I can barely hear the wintered bird's small song over the hum of the central heating. We must trust, I suppose, to the song's bare minim. That spring will be a green havoc as the trees burst their slums and the dirt breaks open to admit crocus spear and cyclamen. And though we can't yet feel it, Earth's already begun a slow incline, inch by ruined inch, easing you back from the brink. Hope you're all keeping well and safe. <laughs>